Hey everybody, on this video we're going to be doing uh, some picking here with the, the new SC1 Leashy and I have a uh, mortise cylinder here. This is a, uh, I believe a US lock one. I think Ilko actually makes it. It's just a uh, one inch mortise cylinder with a uh, Schlage uh, keyway, C, uh, C keyway. And uh, this came out of a storefront a few months ago and I just set, set it aside waiting on these uh, leashies to come here. So we'll see if we can pick it, decode it, and then go make a uh, working key for it. Make sure we can focus here and um, see if we can pick it. So nothing on five or one. Got a little click on two. A little click on three. And pretty a bit stuck with the uh, picking tip here. Lock may need some tri flow or something. Uh, let's try again. Let me pick it the other direction here. So nothing on one, two, or three. Tiny click on four. Tiny click on five. Nothing on one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think, um, you yeah, know, I haven't practiced a ton with this thing, but I think when that happens, it means that something was overset. So let's try to, oh shit, sorry. Reset, not start again here. Do one, springy, two, springy, three, springy, four stiff, and five is stiff. Let me try picking five first. Tiny, tiny click on five. Click on four. Okay, click on five. I believe five is now set and four I think is set. Okay, three. One. The only one that was not set, I believe, is two. But we are not open, so what's going on? So let's go just kind of jiggle everything here. I'm not taking this lock apart at all, but these uh. These mortise cylinders are generally just all standard pins, but they always are. Let's try it over here. Something, something went wrong here. Yeah. Okay, now we're open. So I slam into my uh, shelf here. And let's see if we can uh, decode this guy now. Just uh, move you guys up a little bit. And let's do a little decoding. Okay, so it looks like number one is a five. Number two is a three. Five, three. That's a four. I believe that is a six. And a four. Okay, let me go cut a key and um, we'll uh, see if it works here. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're back here. Here's our key. Let me just zoom out. Get the uh, leashy out of here. 
and we'll see if it uh, lock it back and see if it works here. Okay, that's hitting the uh, vice here, but that's a uh, perfectly working key. So that thing worked great on this an aftermarket cylinder and works uh, perfectly. So, uh, good tool um, so far. The few locks I've just played around with, I'm pretty impressed with it. I can't uh, wait to get the first call where I get to actually use it in the field. And once again, if you guys uh, like this stuff, uh, subscribe and everything. I got some more stuff to pick here. I have a Schlag electronic deadbolt to pick and uh, some aftermarket kick cylinders. So, uh, also an F-Series doorknob somewhere I got to find, and we'll try that. But anyway, until next time, we'll talk to everybody later.